yesterday evening I was taking one of my scenic detours and hit a little rock in the road and it came up and banged around underneath the car and I held my breath and looked down and none of the gauges went off, no warning lights, so I figured, oh, I got away with that. I kept going up this scenic road knowing that it was going to end because they hadn't done winter maintenance up there. So another five miles or so, I, I stopped the car to turn around because there was a little bit of snow. And the engine died and a big smell of gasoline overwhelmed me. And it instantly hit me that that rock must have damaged my fuel line or, or even worse, maybe my gas tank. And the engine had stopped and it wouldn't start. So luckily I was in a, I had been going uphill the whole time, the last 10 to 12 miles. So I backed down, did a backwards U-turn. Of course, no power steering. I had to really crank it to get the wheels turned and point them downhill. And I started rolling with going through my mind. What am I going to do? I'm a long ways away from a cell phone signal. It's Saturday evening about 5 o'clock. Even if I had a phone signal, would AAA be able to come all the way out here in the woods and get me? And, oh, man. But no cell signal. So I ended up coasting downhill. I kept going. Every once in a while, my brake boost would run out of vacuum, so I had to put it in gear and roll the engine over a little bit as I'm coasting along and build up a little more vacuum in the brakes. Kept going, got all the way down to the state highway. Probably a 10 mile coast job with the wheels turning the whole time. Oh my God, I gotta get home tomorrow. I'm stuck out here near Baker, Oregon. Oh my. Uh, so I got on the state highway and I thought, well, I'll try and get down to this little bitty town. I had just driven through there about a half hour before. But the state highway was flattened out and wasn't, I couldn't coast down that. So I pulled off, had to push my car 100 yards over to the, where I could get a wide spot and push it off on the shoulder. I struggled. I got through on the phone about three different times, but the call kept dropping. AAA couldn't get enough information from me to get that dispatched. Some people stopped to help, but their phone signals weren't any better. Finally, a really nice family was going down to that little village to clean up the church for tomorrow's you know, Sunday service. They offered to take me down. She said her phone would work down there. So she loaned me her phone while she went over to the church to clean. I finally got through to AAA, and they finally dispatched someone, but that someone didn't arrive till like 9.30 at night. It was really dark out there. <laughs> And I was wondering if they even dispatched anyone, but they did. He finally came. Uh, so that nice church family was just really sweet, let me use her phone and get me set up. They drove me to the little town, drove me back to my car so I could wait for the tow truck. And then when the tow truck driver arrived, he helped me pick a garage that might be able to help me on Sunday. They have an emergency phone line. They charge a little more, he said, but a lot of times they'll come in and do work on Sunday. So we dropped it there. He dropped me off at the Super 8 Hotel so I could spend the night about a half mile away. The next day, this morning, I called at 8 o'clock and got somebody answered the phone and he said, yeah, I'll be over there in a couple hours. We'll take a look. And I didn't know if they were going to have to order parts, if it would take a week to fix this. Am I going to have to rent a car and drive home today or should I just camp out at the motel for two or three days? I've got work to do next week. Not to mention Katie and the kids are leaving tomorrow to go to uh, to California for a week. Oh, I got things. Anyway, I got the car over there. He uh, took a look at it. And by 11.30, he had it up and running. Luckily, it was just the fuel line puncture and he replaced about a six inch section of rubber fuel line and got me going. I had to charge the battery because the battery had run down from, I don't know, I think when we parked it, we left it on or something. I was so grateful that mechanic came in on a Sunday morning and did this work. So I am really grateful for three kind souls who got me through one of my moments of stupidity driving over a little rock that I thought was small enough I could get over, but boy, it sure did a nice little bit of damage. So it was about three or four hundred dollars to do the work and I'm on my way and I'm actually going to get home in time for dinner tonight for Joseph's birthday dinner. Joseph turns nine tomorrow. Uh, but they're leaving early in the morning, so tonight is going to be a pizza dinner or something for him. So I am really blessed and really grateful for all those people. I'll leave some nice reviews.
used for the two businessmen who built me the tow truck and the garage. And I don't have any way of getting hold of the family, but I sure thank them for their help and uh, got me through this. It seems like I just can't take one of these long distance trips without getting a tow truck ride somewhere along the way. But that's all right, that's an adventure. Luckily, I have the means and the patience, usually, to work through this. I tell you though, without a cell phone signal, you forget how reliant you are on that communication device. <sighs> anyway, got that off my chest. I'm heading uh, north out of Baker. I turned off at La Grande and I'm taking another scenic drive. Uh, call me stupid again, but hopefully I'll stay on a nice paved state highway, not do anything stupid, and get home in one piece. It dawned on me also while he was finishing up getting my car running that I probably left $50 worth of gas on the roadway up there in the in the National Forest. By the way, it's a lovely drive. I'll have to come back when the road's open for summer. It's a Hell's Canyon Scenic Byway in, in very eastern Oregon. It goes along the Snake River where the Snake River goes through what's called Hell's Canyon. And, uh, it, I, I hear great things about it. I wasn't able to get clear up in there because uh, the road wasn't clear. But uh, I'll be back. This is just gorgeous. This is nearby. This is coming around from the other side. I'm going to get part way in before I head north to Lewiston and Spokane. So I'm not sure what river this is, but, but it feeds into the Snake River, I'm sure. Anyway, that's it for now. I think that's enough for one, one video segment. I'll keep you posted on what comes next.